sketched below are the graphs f of x equals to minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 16 and g of x equals to 2x plus 4. a and b are the intercepts of f clearly uh, c is the turning point of f and then 5.1 says calculate the coordinates of a and b so 5.1 it is said that um, a and b are the intercepts of f of x. So to determine uh, the coordinates of the intercept, uh, the first thing you do, uh, you say f of x equals to 0, right? And then you determine uh, the x values for which f of x equals to 0. And then from the x values, you can then find the y. If you have the y and you have the x, uh, you have the coordinate of a point. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to have minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 16 equals to 0. And then we're going to take um, minus 2 as a common factor, right? And then we're going to get uh, minus 2x uh, squared um, minus 2x uh, minus 8 equals to 0. Uh, we divide by minus 2 on both sides. Uh, we're just going to get uh, x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. And then uh, we factorize uh, this uh, equation we have here. Uh, which two numbers do you multiply and you get 8, but then when you add them, you get minus 2. That is uh, minus 4 and 2. So we're going to have x minus 4 uh, multiplied by x plus 2 uh, equals to 0. And then here we're going to have x equals to 4 or x equals to minus 2, right? We know that for the x-intercept, uh, y is equal to 0. So here we're going to have um, 4 and 0 uh, for point B. And then here we're going to have um, minus 2 and 0 for point A. Why am I saying I have 4 and 0 is for point B and minus 2 and 0 is for point A? Uh, you can see clearly on the graph uh, that uh, A is uh, less than zero, right? It's on the left side of the x-axis, and then uh, a and then b is supposed to be greater than zero uh, because it's on the right side of the axis. Five point two says uh, determine the coordinates of c, the turning point of tp. So there's a formula for calculating the x value of the turning point. It is given by x uh, of turning point right equals to minus b divided by 2a so after you determine uh, the x value you can then substitute the x value and uh, get the y value and then you'll have the coordinate of the turning point right so our equation is uh, f of x equals to minus uh sorry for that so f of x equals to minus 2x squared plus 4x uh, plus 16 uh, minus 2 is a uh, 4 is b and then uh, 16 is c uh, for our, our general formula for a uh, for this kind of equation uh, we know that is a x squared plus bx uh, plus c so that is where that idea is coming from so x of tp uh, will then be b a uh, minus uh, we say that b is 4 so we're gonna have 4 here divided by 2a uh, we say that a is minus 2 so we're gonna have minus 2 here and then minus 4 divided by 2 multiplied by minus 2 uh, that is just gonna give us uh, 1 right because you're dividing by minus 4 uh, by um, minus 4 and then after we get 1 and we can then substitute it into f of x to find the corresponding y value. We're going to have f of 1 um, equals to minus 2 uh, multiplied by 1 squared uh, plus 4 multiplied by 1 uh, plus 16, uh, which is equals to minus 2 plus 4 uh, plus 16.
4 plus 16 is 20 minus 2 plus 20 is um, 18 so we're gonna have 18 so the coordinates for C is uh, 1 and 18 um, 5.3 uh, 5.3 says um, data oh no it says write down the range of F right um, so uh, you can see from the graph that uh, Y cannot be greater than 18 because 18 is the turning point right so for the range of F we're going to have Y uh, which is uh, less or equals to 18 right uh, if this graph was uh, facing uh, the other way uh, so you can see let me put a sketch there you can see that uh, you can see that this graph is shaped like this if it was instead shaped like this then we are going to get y is greater or equals to 18 so every time when you have a when you have a parabola and the question says uh, determine the range of the parabola you are going to see uh, the the only two available options is y is greater or equals to tp uh turning point right the y coordinate of the turning point or y is less or equals to tp then which one do we choose between uh, these two it depends on how the graph is shaped if the graph uh is something um is something like this then um you choose the first option and then if the parabola is shaped like this then you choose uh, the second option always that's how you can always determine uh, the range of a parabola without thinking uh, too hard yeah so for the answer for this question is uh, y is supposed to be less or equals to um, 18. Uh, let's move ahead uh, 5.4 uh, the graph of h of x equals to so we have h of x uh, which is equals to f uh, x plus p uh, plus q as a maximum value of 15 at x equals to 2 so okay the tp because the maximum value uh, is at the tp right the turning point uh, so the tp it's when x is equals to 2 and y is equals to oh, okay what am i writing when x equals to 2 and y is equals to 15 then that's where our tp is and then for f of x tp is when x is 1 and y is 18 right um you can see here that to get um uh, to get at the tp of h of x uh, you have to add a uh, q right and then the tp of f of x uh, equals to uh, 18 and then the tp for h of x uh, is equals to uh, is, is equals to 14 so what can you add to 18 uh, to get 15 right because that was basically being done here as far as uh, the y value of the tp is concerned uh, some you add minus 3 to 18 right yeah that's that's how so what i'm saying is you add to 18 you add minus 3 and then that's how you get 15 right so yeah uh, the value of q uh, will be equals to minus 3 because we add minus 3 to 18 uh, to get um, to get 15 and then now what's left is the value of p so now we know that um, for us to get a y value of 15 for h of x we have f of x plus plus p uh, minus 3 because we have established that q is minus 3 right uh, but then we know that um, here we're supposed to have 18 right 
So for us to get 18, um, for us to get 18, uh, which corresponding x value uh, do we need for f of x? We have already established that the turning point is c, uh, x is 1, and uh, the tp, uh, the y of the tp is 18, right? So here, uh, uh, we need uh, the, we need x uh, plus p uh, to be equals to 1, right? But then we know that uh, the x value at that point for h of x is 2. So now we have 2 plus p, uh, of which is supposed to give us 1, right? Uh, then p will be equals to 1 minus 2. And then p will be equals to minus 1. Now, 5.5 5.5 says uh, determine the equation of uh, g inverse in the form y equals to so uh, g is given by uh, g of x equals to 2x plus 4 to find g inverse we swap x and y and then we solve for y right so g of x so this is y equals to um, 2x plus 4 now what we're supposed to do is to swap x and y and then solve for y so in place of x we'll have uh, in place of y we'll have x and then in place of x we'll have y uh, plus 4 and then now we solve for y that's how we find a uh, g inverse so we're gonna have um, x minus 4 equals to 2y uh, which will imply that um, y equals to uh, 1 over 2x uh, minus 2 and uh, now moving forward we have uh, 5.6 5.6 is saying um, for which values of x will uh, uh, g inverse of g inverse uh, multiplied by uh, g of x be equals to 0 this question might look a bit complicated, but it's not really complicated. We know what a uh, G inverse is and we know what G is. And then we're just going to multiply them and equate to zero. And then we find the values for which uh, that is true, right? So G inverse is one divided by two X minus two, uh, multiplied by two X plus four equals to zero right and now multiplying these we're gonna get um i'm multiplying uh one over two x by two x and that will give me x squared and then i'm multiplying one over two x by four and that will give me two x and now i'm multiply multiplying minus two by two x that will give me minus four x and then minus two by four will give me minus eight equals to zero so we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. Which two numbers you multiply, they give you 8, and when you add, they give you minus 8, and when you add them, you get minus 2. That is minus 4 and 2. So we're going to get x minus 4, x plus 2 equals to 0. Then from here, we'll get x equals to 4, and x equals to minus 2 right um yeah it said at the x values it didn't say the coordinates so there's no need to find the corresponding y values uh let's move ahead now we at 5.7 it says if uh p of x equals to f of x plus k determine the values of k for which p and G will not intersect, will not intersect. Okay, so what we can do, we can try find values for which they intersect. And then all the other values will be where they don't intersect, right? Because trying to determine where they don't intersect is really complicated if you don't do it by finding where they intersect and say everywhere else they don't intersect so let's go ahead and do that so we say that uh p of x equals to f of x plus k so f of x is uh minus 2x squared 
plus 4x plus 16 so plus k uh, is equals to uh, g g is 2x uh, plus 4 so at which points um, for which values of k is this statement not true that's what our equation is saying so let's write this in standard format we're gonna get minus 2x squared uh, plus 4x minus 2x that will be plus 2x I'm just taking what's on the right hand side to the left hand side and then we're gonna get um, plus 12 plus k right um, we know that uh, the standard format is a um, x squared plus bx plus uh, c so this is a uh, this is b uh, this is c um, we still say in that uh, this is uh, equals to zero right yes to so okay so in order to solve this uh, we can use uh, the quadratic formula because it will be so complicated to solve this while we have k there so we're gonna have x equals to minus b uh, plus or minus uh, the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so look at this formula and pay close attention to to details if uh, a is not zero we don't have a problem on the denominator right we divide in by a number um, we only have a problem if we divide in by zero uh, minus b is not problematic because even if it's zero we still have this here but then if uh, this uh, expression here inside the square root is less than zero then um, this whole thing becomes undefined right we we cannot take a square root of a negative number at this level later when you further your studies you can actually do that but then at this level you cannot so what we are going to do we're going to say um we're interested in uh b squared minus 4ac uh being less than zero if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero then uh, the two graphs are not intersecting p and q they are intersecting if x equals to uh, this statement here but then if uh, b squared minus 4ac is uh, less than zero then we get undefined so they are not intersecting so that's what we are going to solve uh, we've already established that b is 2 so we're gonna have 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is minus 2 we're gonna have minus 2 and then c is 12 uh, 12 plus is 12 plus k um, and then this is supposed to be uh, less than less than zero like uh, we are proposing so okay let's go ahead and see if we can solve this so we have 4 uh, plus plus 8 multiplied by 12 uh, plus k which is uh, less than zero so we're gonna have um, 4 uh, plus 8k uh, plus 8 multiplied by 12 that is 96 plus 96 is less than uh, 0 so we're gonna get uh, 8k plus 100 is less than 0 so we're gonna get um, k 8k is uh less than uh minus 100 uh, so k is less than minus 100 uh, divided by um divided by 8 right so the values of k for which p and g don't touch is when k is less than minus 100 divided by 8 right because if k is less than minus 100 divided by a then uh, this statement here is undefined right it's undefined so they're not touching 